And then also you can do Roshan, like if it fills a lot. Ooh, <laughs> Spectre. Okay, Claire Boyce was talking to me about Spectre earlier, um, and he got me kind of excited for Spectre just because he was talking about how like kills in the current meta are so important, and Spectre can always be a part of kills um, through that ultimate. And this allows the Spectre to be able to kind of jump ahead where many other carries, like you're either a farming carry or you're an active, aggressive carry. Um, certain heroes like Gyrocopter just happen to be both. Just demolish, you lost the game. Rinse and repeat. All right, so... All right, uh, Misery's dead. Uh, oh, oh yeah, he's... he's... He did the I double ion shell, like, spam out in lane and just tried to... I mean, on your I think Spectre. AUI suggested it as a troll, and I just liked it. <laughs> okay. You have, like, unbelievable move speed. You can farm the jungle. Oh. Nobody runs away in. Yeah, we okay. have that. That's... I thought they were going to be able to, like, oh, they're sandwiching the Dazzle, but they don't have mana on yeah. the on the Tiny, so... Oh, Ake's dead. Yeah. yeah, they hit the... He doesn't have a tether, so... He's Dragon got the level slave. three, yep. Yeah, they... Uh... Give it a go on Weeha. He's gonna get tossed back into the creep wave. Yeah, right into the Wisp's waiting arms. And now, last couple of right clicks. We'll be able to get it uphill. Oh, no miss. All right, you've... My nuts. A melee creep hadn't got off the auto attack. It might have just actually chased my nuts to his death. But middle lane, they're gonna catch Weeha once again. Light Strike Array goes down, but he still dies in the end. All right, he's really... He's finally starting to play really defensively playing the range out. This is what he had to go from the do from the get-go. Again, Weeha lands the stun, and this time, Eternal Envy's here. He's level 6. They should be able to mop up this kill on Loda. Yeah, and at the same time, Misery's going to go down in the top lane, so they do get a, a trade-off at the very least. They got Misery. I thought with a Spectre ultimate, I was just like, oh, middle, top, middle, top. Jesus, you got to down. You got to just go for the people's elbow, man. All right, Loda's just going to run into a bunch of heroes and die. Yeah, he is. They're going to pop the Spectre Ultimate just to make sure that Loda does, in fact, die. Ake goes for the relocate, but... Ake has now died, too. Only saves himself. D eh, no, I don't think... I don't think so. Oh, he can just tether away. Yeah, they've got uh, a tether away. They've got smoke up, and that they may turn this one. They've got the Winter's Curse. They don't have level six. In fact, the buyback surprise. Oh, oh they a double kill coming. for Loda, and now Pylite is going to be run down as well. Triple kill for Loda, and are they going to get more? S4 try to go on a puppy, but didn't have enough. S4 is actually going to go on to Jack here. They have the relocate, but he's already jumped himself away. He jumped up to uh, to top where the relocate came oh, from. Oh, he actually... So they're going to go back and try and kill uh, Ake. A... They Most should be able to. Well. Yeah, and, and they bring Loda back, so they might be able to get Loda as well. Vacuum back in, Light Strike Array on both, and they get two kills. And they, this still allows them to be able to go for the fight at top lane. They still have the Blink Echo Slam ready to go. Echo Slam laid out. Enchant Totem, Fisher block. Now the combo from Loda will finish off. Eternal Envy. Uh, Ake is sitting way back in the side here, ready to relocate Loda back, but the Spectre Ultimate is going to reveal him. Now Ake is in a bit of a pickle. He's got to relocate, try and catch up, but the Old Scepter is going to be able to stop it. The relocate doesn't save Loda. All right, they're going to go for this top engagement again. I don't think this pays off unless you've got everybody. Oh, oh the vacuum! This time, though, the control for Misery, the extra bit is to farm while the four of them roam With, around. Uh, well, we'll wait for this smoke. I know is gonna see them. Yeah. But the fissure steal. Yep, he had it from earlier. We'll be able, oh, four staff, Glimmer Cape. Maybe my nuts can actually survive in Viz. Misery's trying to run him down, Ion Shell. And Radiant's turning around, Winter's Curse in the last half second. We'll be able to control up Misery, but the Spectre himself has already turned himself around. S4 so much mana stunned used from up, S4. and now Weeha's gonna be able to catch him out here. Laguna Blade takes down S4. Lotus still fighting on the side here. Jackie's able to survive, he's gonna hunt down Ake. Should be able to get that quick kill, and Admiral Bulldog is just being chased by an illusion of his own. He's gonna try and blink himself ahead of Weeha. Hopefully he fissure. escapes. Meanwhile, Lotus He's being kited around quite heavily. He's going to be slowed down. Weeha's going to turn around, get that Light Strike Array, and Lotus dead as well. He's going to lose his Aegis. Do they have the power to take him out a second time, though? Easily. Uh, Admiral Bulldog's going to come back in. Fisher still controlling Loda. Light Strike Array, Telekinesis, and Loda is dead. Keep some map control at this point. Bottom lane, Stormtrooper's actually going to jump in. They're going to go for the relocate, but they don't realize Puppy's sitting on the side. They have the Shallow Grave. And now Eternal Envy will just turn on and you kill Ake with the help of Pylite. Oh, no, he's not even going to die. <laughs> They're not going to be able to get him. Loda kites around. The nukes are there. Even a toss up from Pylite Eye makes sure that Loda stays dead. And Eternal Envy.
Everybody from Secret is moving into the enemy jungle. Yeah, he's just walking around with misery, but Alliance... No, they're actually going to be spotted by Alliance. They're going to go for this kill. The Spectre Ultimate gets popped, and Misery, they're just trying to stop Ake from relocating out, and they do so successfully. Great control there. Loda turns around, gets much damage out from his combination, but it doesn't even... He's so close to finishing up the Daedalus, but... I think he's just kind of concerned about yeah. oh, what the dear. direction is. They're going to be running in. Minots as well as Ake are here for the defense, so Lotus should be able to get out this time around. But the spec doesn't have the ult quite yet. Maybe if they can initiate on Weeha here. Uh, but they're just not getting enough. Oh, force that forward, but uh, Misery actually turned around. Now the Spectre Ultimate comes in, and Jackie is ready to go. Lotus and Lotus dead. left without a Wisp. They can't get to him in time, so Lotus just going to be able to draw some distance, I guess. Hopefully be able to bring back the rest of Team Secret as far as possible. And they will kind of start pushing forward. Admiral Bulldog, now that they forced a TP back, maybe they can go for the initiation in the background. They're going to go for Misery. Orchid already placed on him. Echo Slam gets laid up and only catches one. They will be able to combo Misery down, but they actually get the save. Witch's Curse gets laid in. Misery will still be able to get up the vacuum wall, and that's devastating for Alliance. As far as able to jump away and TP back, Loda in the meantime is going to be caught. Cold Embrace managed to save him with the help of the Wisp, but they're now up in the top lane, fully committed. They can just go for this, like, Okay, style. bottom lane. They're going to be able to catch Eternal Lemmy. Enough. Nice setup from Admiral Bulldog. The TP's coming in. Jackie managed to get off the Manta, but Bulldog it only still results dies. in the kill of Bulldog. Meanwhile, S4 does get hit by Pylai Die. S4 is actually going to try and turn onto him the Shallow Grave, and Glimmer Cape will buy him time. But Puppy is now going to be the next target. S4 bounces back to finish off Pylai Die, and he has a little bit of mana left. Perhaps just enough to be able to survive. Oh, they're all oh, coming in now, actually going to be able to come in. He starts healing up the mana of S4. Now he's going to be able to jump forward and go for the support in the background. Puppy this time, I think, my friend, you may be dead. Never mind. Light Strike Array actually catches the vacuum two man wall as far as force back. Winter's Curse laid on to Weha. Loda has to turn and fight against this Lena, but he's so tanky. Loda's just not outputting enough damage at this point in time. No criticals. And now a cold embrace is needed to be able to save him. Wiz comes in. Last second. Glamour Cape keeping him alive, being able to just get enough for Loda to escape Ake. Balls deep there with no HP, but still managed to pull out the save and now picks up a regen rune. Tether away. No, Dragon Slave catches him right before he can get out. Loda, well, he's going to be hit for the old scepter, so looks like he's still dead as well. Ake okay, did everything he could, but. I guess the reasoning is that the BKB won't come in handy because of the Lina ultimate, but I still think that he's just been crowd controlled too long. Oh, a whiff! Echo Slam! Admiral Bulldog fails that one, and now the turnaround. Misery actually comes in, slows down everyone with the Shivas, does manage to get the wall off, and the vacuum back in, catches Admiral Bulldog. They get the Winter's Curse, but nothing is really had of it. Meanwhile, S4 is going to die on the left-hand side. Weeha was able to get that control of the Laguna Blade to finish him off, and Weeha just keeps on barreling forward now with his Scotty right-clicking down Lona. S4 is going to come back with a buyback, but Weeha, still plenty healthy, is going to turn and fight S4. Lona, meanwhile, gets the Cold Embrace. Jackie looking to be able to run him down, but a relocate out back to the fountain will keep him alive. The problem is Team Secret still look plenty healthy as they turn their focus now to this tier 3 tower. Loda comes back in thanks to a TP scroll, but he's immediately down to half HP, and Ake has to save him once again, but it's not going to happen. S4, he goes for Weha, but immediately Yule Scepter is going to be able to take away that Orchid, and I just don't see them being able to finish him off now with a Shallow Grave even. Admiral Bulldog goes down, S4 commits everything, but can't even get that buyback out from Loda. He moves forward, trying to get the toss up. Misery combine these two together for a two-man stun. The cleave isn't enough to finish off anybody there as Misery making the juke around in the trees will be able to get out and now he has to turn and force the fight against Jackie but that's just not where he wants to be and Jackie will walk away with a double kill and force out the GG from Alliance. Just Weeha hasn't really died at all. Puppy is always there with the counter initiation from the grave. Not a whole lot that they can do at that point but what a missed opportunity for Alliance to go for the 2-0 that not a lot of people expected. Their laning phase was pretty much ideal. They got a solo first blood kill uh, in the mid lane like three times in a row. Uh, they get the kill on the Darkseer.